right down below me. And Air Depot, that's the intersection of Air Depot and Southeast 164. right up here. That's what is that uh, southeast uh, 149th and air depot. It's burning right in that and all those cedars. Yeah, we'll watch this right here. We'll see what happens. Ooh, it's going up right there, Rich. To your left, to your left. No, it's, it's cedars. Yeah, we're going to sit right Air Depot and Southeast uh, 164th, right there at that intersection. Yeah, that's, that's kind of bad right there because we're going to get all kind of embers blowing out of that. Started at the southeast 134th, it's burnt down to southeast 149th, an air depot. Now it's all down to 164th. job of stopping keeping them from these houses of course it looks of course it looks like they they've got a really short grass a lot of dirt in there too so that, that's helped out a bunch something's on fire can you can you tell what that is down here on this one at 149th in the air depot. I'll look, I'll keep watching this back, back here. He's spraying water down, two, two of them right there. jump over to the east. I want to follow this along. 149. I need to see if I can clear out in the middle here. Maybe you can see what that is down there burning. Yeah, there is. 
is something burning right there. What is that, Rich? Go back to your left. Go back to your left. Come back to your left. Tilt up. Okay. Should see it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. like equipment. is to see the head of it the okay right there at the head of it it's burning into a right at the head of that fire that's burning into you. Let me see if I can get down. Stay on that because when I come when I come right into the center of this smoke it's gonna open up and you can you can kind of see down in there. Yeah that's because it's getting into all those cedars and everything else. Covering it up. I'm going to cut through to the west. It's going to get bumpy. It's going to get bumpy. Okay, it's gotten down on air, de air depot here, uh, Rich. Got out, out on it. I think it's crossed it right in there. The wind is blowing out of the wrong direction. Yeah, it's right. Look at that up. Look at that moving up to air, air depot on 100 at southeast 164th. Crossing, it's crossing air depot, I think, right in that heavy smoke, but
start spraying water or doing something because the amber blows across the road there. I'm sure they wetted water deck down. Yeah, it looks like it has. Looks like it's kind of stalled itself right there. There's a line going right up alongside Air Depot there, Rich. Just looks like there's a wood frame house right on the other side. And a motor home. Look at started. Look at it starting back up. Hey, go back to your left. Look at starting back right up in there. Yep. Yeah. Good thing I'm seeing is a lot of these places out here got a lot of still real short grass and a lot of dirt around them. So that's going to help. Yep. Just getting ready to get into the other stand of cedars right there. Let's see if they start going. So, so far we've just had a big pile of wood on fire. It's still burning. is right down there, man, but I cannot, I cannot see it because all the smoke. You may not have fire damage, but you're going to have a whole lot of smoke damage. Okay, the head of it's moving up into some campers, right, right here in a house, right there. It's a mobile home right in there, isn't it? Oh, there's some cedars going up behind it. That other one, Rich. That one right there. Yeah, I just got some big... Yep, it is. Well, it could be that too forming a slipstream, but I... 
boy, it's really blowing down there. There's a house, Rich, the house, the smoke's all going into right to your left. Go to your left. Right. Right there. There's a house right there. See it in all the smoke? See the fire? Go to your left. Go to your left. Right. Deeper. There it is right there. To your left. be a shop building or something. Got a propane tank. It's burning all the way around that propane tank. junk thrown in there with it. You all right back there, man? Okay. Yep. Okay, go go back to the left. It's kicking up. See what that little lane is right there. center of your screen. What intersection is that right there to your left, Rich? Is that one? Southeast Hunters. bunch of cedars going up right out. Yeah. Oh, man, there was just an explosion down here. Rich, pull back. Pull back. Right there, right there where that big fire is. There's just stuff going off right and left. I don't know, but there's two, there's two explosions right in there. Cedar getting ready to go up, looks like, right?
moving so fast that the fire's moving so fast that it's not having time to sit there. Look at the wind down there swirling around to sit on the grass. What is that fire department? What's that say on the side of the truck? Oklahoma City. I'm sure more Oklahoma City. I'm sure everybody's out here. Okay, we got a bunch of black smoke coming up somewhere. See where that black smoke's coming? Oh, is that equipment that we shoot early? Okay, yeah. 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 Now go ahead, Clint. Okay, Roger that. Thanks, Clint. That's still that uh, equipment in it that's in there. Okay, we got another uh, spot right there up from that, right in the center. That's lit back up and it's moving right towards that barn. What does Street Scope say? That's Rusty Creek Road, Willow Bend Avenue. Yeah. So Rusty Creek Road is just south of that and moving right into that barn. Barn survives. So I wonder how it started at Southeast 134th and Air Depot. It looks like it started right next to the side of the road. Southeast 164th yet, has it? So it's between Air Depot and Midwest Boulevard is what this section would look at. Started at Southeast 134th, east of Air Depot, moved to a Southeast 149, jumped that. Now it's down to Southeast 164th, still in between Air Depot and Midwest Boulevard. So 
Southeast 160th Street, Billy Young Road, Willoughby and Avenue, Southeast 164th. The last thing we wanted that salvage yard to catch on fire. burning on the east side. Yeah, I'm going to come around on the west side. The four should be out here somewhere. Need to keep an eye open for him. I got somebody behind me. 351.3 miles of tier one. So they're, so they're to the east, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we crossed one. We crossed Air Depot right here. Looks like at a southeast 149th. It's crossed Air Depot to the west side. Yeah, Kylie, go ahead. Okay, roger that. Okay, I'm gonna make one circuit around from west to east, just make sure we don't have a You know what? It looks like they've done a pretty good job of as it doesn't cross 164th over here on the southeast corner. But hang on, it's going to get a little bumpy again. Going through the smoke. Hey, Clint, you have me on Marty? I'm sure there's fire departments from everywhere out here, but it's mainly Oklahoma City and more, right? Okay, roger that. Yeah, roger that. I may sit right here. What do you think, Rich? Of course, if the sun comes, that's going to kind of... Because what I'll do is we'll start out kind of tight and pull back, go to the where it started, and I'll talk it through back to where it's... Yeah, we'll start at 134th, which is to the north of us. North, southeast 134th, and I'll talk my way back to where we are here. Take a quick scan here, make sure we have any structures on fire. No, believe it or not, man, it's uh, nothing 
no structures have uh, have caught fire, but there's a big pile of wood. It looks like they had wood stacked by one place, and then there's uh, some equipment and junk that was stacked up that's burning. But as far as out structures or anything, uh, we haven't really seen anything. Yeah, that, that's what that's what it was. Pretty big pile. Black right up. Uh, right there. Right there. I don't think it's a building. I no, that equipment's over. It's in another place. It's something else. We're trying to figure out what this is right here. Can you make that out, Clint, what that is? I can't either. I see some sort of roof down there, but I can't tell if it's a old mobile home or if it was a barn. I think that's just an outbuilding, a small outbuilding. Yeah. Do what now, Clint? No. There, rug that. Looks like we got a bunch of tires and stuff on fire. That's why it's so black. And there's a shed in there that uh, went up. Looks like there's a small little uh, uh, yard there, equipment yard or something. Ladders and wood and tires. Okay, okay, what's, what's up? Uh, go back to your left a little bit. Uh, pull out wide going right right in there okay center screen dead center where your crosshairs are I think that's on fire isn't it nope you're not on you're not on what uh, you need to go back to your left right there right right up that driveway I'm trying to see I'm trying to see yeah that barn that barn right there see is it burning on the end Looks like it's on fire on the west side. Okay, uh, let me get into position here. Okay, Rich, I'm. Uh, let's uh, let's get over here. I'm gonna be on the west side, so we'll just do an overall. Uh, uh, and I'll start moving around to the northeast and come around on the on the east side as I talk here. Yeah. more or is this okay 
All right, Kylie, we're. Yeah. Standing by. This is Jim Garner reporting live from Bob Mills, Sky News 9, where we've been on this fire down in the Moore area, southeast Oklahoma, for about uh, 45 minutes now. It's burned approximately about, uh, I would say, close to 500 to 600 acres at this time now. This fire started at southeast 134th between Air Depot and Midwest Boulevard. So it started on southwest 134th. It quickly burned to the south. We got wind sustaining of about 30 miles an hour with gusts about 35 miles an hour right now. It quickly burned down to southeast 149th. It is now approaching southeast 164th. It has crossed Air Depot here on the west side right at south east uh, 149th and air depot oklahoma city along with almost about every fire crew that you can imagine more uh, little axe norman are helping out on this the amazing thing is it has burned into us uh, several homes and we've not lost any homes yet was just absolutely the uh, credit to the firefighters doing a great job of keeping this fire off these homes we've had small outbuildings uh we may have lost one small outbuilding we saw one uh, other outbuilding that was uh, getting ready to go up on uh going up in flames, but they quickly got on that. I believe that got that knocked down, but as we look right down here at the corner, bottom of your screen, at Southeast 149th and Air Depot. You can see where it crossed on the west side of Air Depot. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pull out, as I try to get high enough, we're going to pull out and give you a wide street scope shot uh, from looking from the northwest down to the southeast, and you're going to be able to see all the roads here right here, Rich. Hold it right there. Okay, pull back wide, and then we're going to work our way back to the south here. You see Southeast 149th right there, Midwest Boulevard is going to be at the top of your screen. It will burn into a housing addition right there. You would see South Air Depot, which is the western uh, boundary of this fire. You can see Rusty Creek, Willow Bend, all through there. So far, like I said, no homes have been lost, which is really amazing here. Now, they, they have called for evacuation south of Southeast 164th. But again, right now, from what I'm seeing, the fire departments have really done a great job getting a handle on this. They've stopped it at Southeast 164th. So far, like I said, uh, just to reiterate, we lost one outbuilding. Looks like uh, there's a large uh, railroad, tie railroad tire fire going on about in the middle of this right now that has continued to burn, but then some equipment, but no homes lost at this time. As we keep following this, we're going to keep you updated, but right now it has not crossed Southeast 164th between Midwest Boulevard and Air Depot. That's going to be the east boundary is Midwest Boulevard, the west boundary, Air Depot. Southeast 154th is the south boundary right now. They are fighting, fighting not to let that fire cross. So if it crosses, we'll keep you updated. Jim Garner pouring live from Bob Mills, Sky News 9. Now back to regular programming. Okay, roger that. Okay, roger that. Yeah, go ahead, Clint. Yeah, roger that. Roger that. Okay, I'm going to sit right here on this. It's moving so fast, he better get out of there, man. You're seeing. Yeah. Hey, we're getting a lot of vibration, Rich. Pull out just for a second. This settles down a little bit. We're gonna I'm trying to see if it crossed 164th yet.
that's a little side street. Willoughby and Avenue. Okay. Yeah. I don't think there's anything to the east of Billy Billy Young's up north. Evidently they got that shop building out because I don't see any black smoke over in that area. down there have fuel left in the fuel left in the gas tank. Yeah, he's going to try to start moving these cars out of the way. Trouble is that wind's blowing so hard. Blackhawk coming in, but I don't see any bucket on him. Well, I sure wish I had somebody that could map this for me real quick. move over to the northwest corner again. Take a quick look. It's really, it's, it's jumped air depot, uh, Rich. It's really got going now. Yeah. I thought they had it, I thought they had it corralled, but. Okay, roger that. Okay, there's a really good, uh, yeah, uh, we probably ought to go, Kylie. Yeah, but I'm glad.
looking at the one right behind that one. That's the, that's the one left right there. Yeah. But see, it's burning down here. It's already jumped. Okay, roger that. Okay, Roger that. What's what's burning? What's burning up from? Uh, go, go back. I don't care about a spraying water, Rich. Go back up to to the left. To the left. Right. One left. What's well, something burning right there? Really black. What is that? Rusty Creek Road's down. It, that's that's where we were, right? Well, I'm watching. Okay, Roger that. <laughs> 